Welcome to Artistry Collaborative. My name is Joanne and I am so glad you're here today. If you're new to my channel, well, welcome. I hope you stick around and if you see what you like, well, please become a subscriber. Just hit that subscribe button and then on the bell and that'll be, you can be notified every time I upload a new video. I try to do two to three videos a week. During the summer we may cut back to two, but Definitely, and we love to inspire all kinds of creativity. We tackle everything from DIYs, repurposing, we're going to paint some furniture, we love to do mixed media, visual journaling, polymer clay, you name it, we will do it. And if you're interested in macrame, leave a comment because I am starting to go back into macrame. So if that's something that you would like to see how to do, I'd be happy to do that. Um, and to my subscribers, well, oh, I'm so grateful for you. You know that. You know that. You know that. And your comments mean everything to me. So, here at Artistry Collaborative, we are the home of TriLab because we, we just want you to try. And so we give you tips and techniques and I take you every step of the way. And of course, if you ever have questions, just leave them in the comments and I will answer them and help you. So today, we are going to create this adorable hot air balloon and it as most things that I do lights up yes if I can yeah there you go mostly Dollar Tree items this is Dollar Tree this is Dollar Tree this is Dollar Tree this is Dollar Tree um, this is not and these are not but mostly Dollar Tree and so let's create this together. So we're going to take the paper lantern from the Dollar Tree. And I rigged this up. Um, it's just one of those things with one of the flag holders. Uh, and I just I'm going to use that so that I can work on the balloon while it is hanging. I think that would be the easiest way to go. So, how do we keep this? Alright, I'm going to get some bags and puff this out so we can work on it. Is that the small one or the big one? I think that's the big one. Lobby, um, normally $4.99, it's $1.24, and I, that's what we're going to start with. We're going to start with the center, and that's going to go there. So if I think if I have the it would be way too much. Maybe at the top. I don't know. Alright, so, what are we going to do? We're going to hot glue. That's what we're going to do. So I just have to make sure I'm keeping it. Where the wires are. Ah! Right here. You know what? I'm going to put it on here. 
will say, as I'm putting this heavy braid on, that <laughs> you probably want to do light stuff. You probably don't want to do anything too heavy. But we'll see how this works. be very careful because of course it's a paper lantern so your finger could go through it very very easily. I'm going to keep going and I'll be Alright, so this is on. Um, I was following the line and I think because this is a spiral, it wasn't exactly even, so you have to kind of manipulate it to match. Um, it's not completely even, but it's okay. So now I cut four pieces of this rope for no particular reason except you know, it's going to come from here and it's going to go down here to catch the little basket. So I have two of the solid silver, solid silver and two white and silver. So I'm going to put one right here where this is. I'm going to put four. I'm going to put this on here. Now, um, I put tape around the rope and then I um, cut it because it helps to um, stop it from fraying. And then I'm going to put another bead right where it lands, so right here. Then I'm going to take the white and silver one and go right in the middle here. So I'm going to put a bead here, hold it, and I will find uh, either a button or some kind of something to reinforce this even more and it'll be decorative too. So we'll put this here and lay that in there. So now I have to make a decision. Um, do I want to put this, these are little gray sh chiffon type flowers, or do I want to introduce another color? and put this in. And I kind of like that this hangs down. But I like the subtleness of this. I think I'm going to go with this, even though I really like the purple. So, I'm just going to glue this over that. I'm not using the hanging thing anymore. Probably once I start to do the basket, yeah. Oh, they're different sizes. Yes. 
great. Let me find a basket. Okay, I can't believe this. I've had these sitting in a bag because I made this. This is one of my earlier, uh, it's like Halloween time, so back in October. And I made this as a night light. You put the light in here and then you put this on here. But this poor little girl has seen her days. Um, and so I took it off the shelf. Uh, I'm not trying to sell it anymore because I figured it, it needs to be revamped. But I also had this one, and it says Dream. Now these are the boxes that you get at Dollar Tree. And of course this goes in here like this, like that, and I just made the fairy like that. And all I did was take scrapbook paper and I put pearls around the edge and that's that. So this is going to be the basket. I love the idea. Alright, so if you want the specifics of how I did this, you know, I will try to find that um, YouTube and put it in the description. But basically it's just covering, I painted it yellow and covered it with scrapbook paper. This scrapbook paper is from Graphics 45, but i um, very excited. So what I'm going to do is, um, you know what, let me, I hope you can see this, but I'm just going to put a bead of glue in here all the way. And then I'm going to take this and squeeze it in there. that in.
life and just fun. So these come in the package and they're called expanders. So they go inside, supposedly, so that it'll stay open. And now this hooks on to those hooks that I tied the um, twine on. And I'm going to tie a little bit of ribbon around that to secure it. bothers you, you could tie it to that, and you can just turn it on and off out of the box. But I really like it, and I hope you do too. So leave a comment below, let me know what you think and if you're going to make one. And um, thank you so much for uh, watching, and if you haven't become a subscriber, please become a subscriber because I'd love for you to join my YouTube family. And um, to my subscribers, thank you so much. You know I appreciate everything you say and do. And go to my website, artistrycollaborative.org. My uh, podcast is called Inner Promptings. You can find it on Spotify and iTunes. It's just there to help inspire you to be more creative. And as we say, keep on creating.